position for the first bulkhead. And so, um, I can't, this is, this is exciting. I'm just excited. Sorry, I will get on with it. G'day, my name is Aaron, an Aussie bloke with a funny Dutch last name. 20 years ago, I had an adventure sailing to the remote forest strait. Now, I'm building a 22 foot catamaran to recreate that adventure and have many more. Join me as I build my boat and get sailing again. This is the shop where I'll be building my catamaran. And the first thing I need to do after doing my cleanup, which I've done, is to come over here and read Richard's instructions about uh, how to set up. So there's two methods of positioning bulkheads. Uh, one is building on a flat concrete floor, which is what we have. And the other one is to make a building frame from two large timbers. So we've got the concrete floor. And the first thing to do is to draw a line on the ground and start marking out our frames from, from the stern through to the bow. So I've got the string line down and I've put a, a marker. You can see there, one there, probably every one there, every 40 to 50 centimeters, all the way through to the end. I was going to use a laser, but the one I have, this one here, it's quite cheap and I don't think it's going to do the job properly. So I prefer a nice straight string line. So because I'm going to stretch this catamaran, um, the dimensions that Richard has put in his plans, I'll be expanding by 105%, so 1.05 times the actual dimensions he's putting. Confirmed with him, he said that that's good to go. So the next step is uh, drawing lines perpendicular at bulkhead positions. So I'm just eyeballing the tape here and I can see that a portion of it is not right up against my marks. And I have more faith in the string than I do in the, in the measuring tape. But just to be sure, I'm going to sight it. I'm going to eyeball it down here. And I think I can see pretty much where that light section is there. It does bow away to the left. So I'm going to trust my string and I'm going to use some weights here to hold it in position. All right, this is a pretty exciting part. I'm marking out position for the first bulkhead. Sorry, so I can't, this is, this is exciting. I'm just excited. Sorry, I will get on with it. And I'm using a pencil as well, so I get more accuracy. The texture I used was fine for the center line, but I want, you know, millimeter or less accuracy for my frame positions. And that's why I've got the long edge of my square along my tape. And it means that this 90 degree angle perpendicular to this line is going to be more accurate than if I was to use a shorter edge. First bulkhead position marked. <coughs> Got the helpers in the garage today. What are we going to do? <coughs> well, no, doesn't want to help. You going to help daddy? <coughs> you want to help dad? <coughs> yeah. Building a boat is like an exercise in patience. Right now, I'm taking my time. I'm double and triple checking every measurement between the bulkheads to make sure that I don't get it wrong now. Because if it's wrong now, it's going to be wrong forever. And a little bit of time now means that at the at the end, the result's going to be something that I really you know, want to go sailing on, basically. So be patient and get it right is what I'm telling myself. Starting from the stem, we have all of our bulkhead positions marked out on the garage floor. Bulkhead three, four, five, six, and of course the transom here. And we're starting to get a feel now for how how long this Janus is going to be. And there's, oh, there's Max, our, our careful watchdog, Max. What's happening, buddy? This is Max the Border Collie. Come here. Hey, buddy. Been to the beach, so he's a bit wet. Max. Good boy. If you're like me and you have a regular size printer at home, you can use the free Adobe Acrobat PDF reader to print them on your regular printer as a poster. And that means you can scale it up to full scale and then they'll print in individual pieces, which you then cut out and glue together 
I've done it a couple of times now and it works a treat. So handy little tip there. Next step is to glue down some cleats along those frame positions. And I'll be using these leftover pieces of structural pine and I'll be connecting them to the concrete with a, um, a polyester gel coat mix. Basically it's just gonna bond in certain areas to the concrete and it's not gonna bond so much that I can't take it off later. Just a couple of, couple of dabs of glue and then I'll hold it in place. This will be the two part glue I'm gonna to use to fasten the cleats down to the concrete in their frame positions. And um, I'll use just thin strips of it and it'll glue the bulkhead down so it'll glue the cleat down along that bulkhead line and there'll be some rises on the front here. And then the bulkhead gets fixed to that. That should just about do it. So all our bulkhead cleats are glued in place now. And now we have to wait for our plywood delivery. So with the cleats down, the next thing is to cut out the bulkheads and install them in position. But we'll have to play the waiting game because I need to wait for my plywood delivery. It is already two weeks behind and I have a feeling it's going to be a bit longer. So uh, I think in the next video, I'm going to use some spare plywood I have and create a mock-up of uh, one of the frames, probably one of the primary frames in the middle of the cabin room. And uh, that way I can get a, an idea of how big it's going to be and keeps it interesting for me and for you guys. Um, but I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's subscribing and following my channel. It makes a huge um, impact about how many people see these videos. At the moment, um, I'm not using family funds to build my catamaran. I'm using YouTube revenue. And at the moment, I think I make about $175 a month. So it's not very much. So please like and subscribe and share the videos so that more people watch it so they can get um, potentially a bit more uh, cash into the project. And that means I can get um, you know the right materials, the right quality, um, and really keep making these videos to help you, know, you guys stay inspired and help me stay inspired and, and motivated to get the project going along as well. So thanks for watching, um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Max, come on, buddy. Max, come on. Come on. <laughs>